Well, I've, I've got the rounded molding installed on the bottom. I've also started some of the finishing process. I've done off camera just because I'm, I'm running out of time. Uh, one thing I did first was uh, put five coats of a uh, wiping polyurethane on the underneath of the piece and underneath the leaf. Um, I've also installed some locking hardware for when the leaf goes in and the sides go together that closes everything up. Uh, I've also put one coat of a pore filler. Uh, walnut is a very open grain wood and my wife really wants the top to be nice and smooth. Uh, she doesn't want to see any reflections of the grain in, 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 in the wood at all. So. Um, I've used on walnut before, I've used uh, Balaam's Poral Pack. It's a very good grain filler. Unfortunately, it's a very messy and very, very labor intensive product. Um, so I thought I would try this. Again, it's called Crystal Act. It's water based. You just spread it on, squeegee it off, and then sand it off. Um, that's where I'm at right now. I've got one coat on there. I'm getting ready to sand that off. And uh, then I'll put another coat on and make sure the grain is nice and sealed before I put the final coat on. Like I mentioned before, I've already put a, a coat of the Crystal Lac on here. That leaves a very fine film. Um, it's still a little rough, so what I have to do now is I've got to sand that off. I'm going to do that with 220. Um, I've got a sanding block here. I'm going to cover it up with a scotch Bright pad and then some 220 paper. And then just sand this so it's nice and smooth and I get any of that roughness off of there. And I'll just go over the whole piece like that until this is all gone. I'll uh, get rid of any excess with uh, compressed air and then I'll go over it with the vacuum and then I'll put another coat on and I'll show you how I put that on but I wanted to show you sanding it first. I was using the Crystal Act product, like I said, and, and I was hoping that it'd be a little bit labor intensive than a little bit less labor intensive than the than the Poro Pack was. And I'm finding out it's it's just as um, it did a good job. I'm gonna have to put a second coat on. One thing I found the the instructions were were pretty ambiguous. Uh, they don't give very clear detail on anything. It's just apply, wipe off, and then sand. Um, what they don't tell you is, is that you have to make sure you get all of it off. Uh, I shouldn't say all of it off, but make sure it's, it goes into the pores and then get as much off as you possibly can. Because if there's any sags or drips or anything, it turns into like a plastic and it's, it was very difficult to get off. Um, again, it took me a long time to sand these pieces. Uh, the second coat I put on, I'm going to put on it very lightly and just rub it in and smooth it out. Uh, I'm not going to put it on like, a, like I thought I would did before or should have before which was flood the surface with it and then wipe it off. Uh, that, that's a bad move on this stuff. I, I don't recommend it. So I'll show you how I put the second coat on. Like I said, after I uh, sanded this, which took some time, I uh, vacuumed it all off, uh, got rid of all the excess with compressed air and then wiped it off. It's pretty smooth. This is this is the product itself, Crystal Ac. Um, again, I, I put it on very thick the first time. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to apply a, a little bit to a, a towel and just kind of like rub it in. The thing that was difficult to get rid of was any um, drips and sags. Uh, again, it turned into an almost hard plastic-like substance and. Uh, very difficult to get off. I had to do some scraping uh, on the edges. It was really uh, a problem on all the edges. Um, so I want to be really careful when I put it on this time and uh, go with the grain as much as possible and just work it in like this. And that's about how thick I think I want to put it on the, the, the second time. Well, this is after the second coat got put on um, of the Crystal Lac. I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours and then I'm going to sand it. This was, went on much easier this time. Again, you know, uh, new product. I probably shouldn't have tried it out on this project, but uh, we all have to try things sometimes. So um, it's probably going to take 
I'm going to say that since a light coat I put on this time, maybe three coats of this to fill in the grain or fill in the pores the, the way I hope to. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to start uh, putting some finish on the leg, actually the second coat of finish on the leg. I'll show you what I'm doing on that, and it's pretty much going to translate to the same thing that, I, that I'm doing here on the, uh, the tabletop itself. I've already put one coat of the uh, blend that I use to, to, to finish furniture like this. I've been using the same process now for, I think, 14 years. Um, what it is, is it's a, a polyurethane 50-50 uh, with naphtha. I put a very light coat on, and then I go over it with steel wool. I blow it off, I tack it off, and I keep repeating the process. I usually put about six to seven coats of this on. Um, the nice thing about it is, is it dries very quickly that way. Sometimes I can put three coats on in a day if I'd start early enough in the morning. So about like three, four hours between coats. Uh, so in a weekend, sometimes I can get a project finished. It works out pretty well. All I want to do again is just go over this very lightly with, I'm using a quadruple lot steel wall. I'm just going to go around this and lightly get rid of any nibs or anything that are on the, uh, the finish. Blow it off and then tack it off. After I got the piece cleaned off from the uh, steel wall, tack cloth and a little bit of compressed air, this is, this is my container for my mixture. I'm using a water bottle. Um, what I'm going to use is a, to, to apply it is just a piece of, of lint-free towel. I'm just going to put some on here. Make sure I get a nice saturation on the rag. And I'm just going to put it on here in just nice, even strokes. Again, this dries very quickly and levels very nicely. Again, I've been using the same process for a number of years. Uh, it's never failed me. I've always been very happy with the results. And uh, everybody should do what they're most comfortable with and what, what works for them. Well, I've got the first coat of the wiping varnish on. The next thing I'm going to do is, much like the, the, the pedestal, I'm just going to take some steel wool. And I want to get rid of any imperfections in this first coat and flatten it out. I'll just go over the whole piece like this until I get a nice, consistent, smooth feel to it. Well, after I flatten it with the steel wool and I've gotten rid of any uh, dust from the steel wool with uh, compressed air and tack rag, just like the past. So I'm going to start applying finish to the top again. This is the second coat. This is a little bit different than the way it worked on the pedestal. Um, I'm going to make sure I've got a nice saturation on my applicator, which again is just a lint-free paper towel. I'm going to start at one end and just make Nice. Oh. Smooth stroke all the way down it like that. Apply a little bit more. Overlap a little bit. Just nice easy strokes. I don't want to go over the same area twice. I don't want to rub it in. I don't want to do anything. I just want to do nice straight lines like this. any bubbles or anything else like that, I'm just going to weave them in. I do not want to go over them again. This will flatten by itself. I'm 
Always make sure to do the edges on this last. That's it. I just need to do the other half of this leaf and the pedestal. I just got to do this about uh, another four or five times, and uh, it'll be ready for the kitchen. Well, here's a table in its final spot in my kitchen. Uh, it came out beautiful. My, my wife is extremely happy with it, and that's probably more important than anything, as, as most woodworkers know. Um, it was a very difficult project. It took me a very long time to do. A lot of it had to do with uh, videotaping this for YouTube. So if you've stuck with me for uh, the four months it took me to do this, you know, you're, 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 you're a very patient man. Uh, let me put this together. I'll put the leaf in. And again, the locking hardware is in. You unlock the table. Move these chairs out of the way. I really like how it opens up with just, just one hand. Set that in place and close it up. And this all locks down with hardware. I'm not going to put it all in right now. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's plenty big enough. Uh, we actually had this set up for Thanksgiving and uh, had eight people around it very comfortably. Uh, I was pretty surprised. I thought I'd only get about six, but we did manage to get eight and it, it, it was more than enough room. So thanks for watching and uh, maybe I'll do another one of these videos soon.